Well, hey you guys, I'm coming at you from a different place today. We have a, I have a roommate taking over my office uh, slash guest bedroom. So I am working out of my living room um, or dining room, something. Anyways, um, I want to talk today about Dubsado's tasks and boards and how you could use them when working with your clients um, and why more than likely you're going to want a totally separate uh, project management system to keep yourself organized with tasks, especially if you have a team, um, and then how to share that with your clients as well. And there's so much that you can do outside of Dubsado when it comes to project management, but our focus is going to be what you can do inside of Dubsado for project management, because if your processes are simple enough, it might be exactly what you need. So I'm going to give you a inside look. All right, you guys. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm coming into my dashboard. I created a fake um, like account. The great thing with Dubsado is you can play around with Dubsado for as long as possible without paying for it, as long as you're only working inside of three clients. So um, a great thing to do if you just want to see what it is like is to create a test client and create test projects underneath them, um, which is what we're doing today. So in order to talk about tasks and things and project management within Dubsado, I'm going to go into our tasks here. The tasks that are here, some of them were already there with Dubsado and it's kind of fun too. Dubsado like shows you, okay, here's what to do next. I have those tasks there. My tasks are anything with my name assigned to it. All tasks are going to be if I have anybody else inside of my um, Dubsado business, um, an assistant, a colleague, something like that, and I can assign it to them as well. Um, and then we have boards here. Now, there's also to do's inside of um, Dubsado and to do's come in when it is a workflow. So inside of workflows, you can automate um, your uh, maybe your leads or your jobs, um, however that looks like. There's, that's a whole nother video is going to be workflows with Dubsado. But you can create uh, to-dos inside of your workflows. And those are great because they send you a notification up here, this little bell. It'll say you have a new to-do do. Um, and it will also send an email. Now, tasks do not have any notifications at all. Uh, here are my upcoming tasks here. And then I can hit the checkbox when it's done and it goes away. Perfect. All right, so let's go back in and I really, and then it disappears from here. We're going to look at boards because inside of boards, um, boards are going to be very much how like a Trello works. Um, they're Kanban boards um, and you can create them however it is that you want. So let's just do like a website build. And for now, I'm not going to add it to a project. I'll just like create a board and you can create your different columns that you want to sort by. So let's do to do in progress and your column. Let's maybe um, needs approval approved. Done. Perfect. And now we can build out all of the to do's inside of your website build. This is amazing. If your process of a job of a service is super concise and like you're doing the exact same thing over and over again. So maybe we need to create the mood board, like the inspiration board for it. Um, create, we need to create the wireframe. Create, create the wireframe. Um, and then, you know, um, and then maybe once a wireframe, you have the um, build homepage, build about page, build contact page, whatever it is you need to do. 
And then you can, when you are finally like working on the thing, you can drag it into the next like in progress column. And if you click on it, you can actually drop in files. So PDFs and JPEGs and the things, um, and you can write comments on it. And so let's go ahead and put this here. And I'm going to go then into my projects and go into the sample job. I'm going to go tasks. I'm going to go project boards. I'm going to add a board and I'm going to do that drop down and I'm going to add that website build board. Um, and it's going to copy what I just created and put it here. Um, and now this is specific to this project. Um, I can play around with it and it will not then affect my boards. So when I come back here, I have boards. This is my website build, but it doesn't have a project to it. I know that because there's no further details here. If I go to view, change it to project boards or all boards for that matter, um, I will see my project name that it's on and the privacy. So I can click into it and I'm actually still, I go back into the uh, project tab inside of for that client. Um, I want to change my privacy settings because I want my client to be able to see this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say, yep, client portal, all clients will be able to see to edit and create tasks. Um, so your clients can converse with you inside of the tasks. Awesome. All right. And then if we go into the portal, Go ahead and view it it's inside of their dashboard. I'm going to bring in an incognito. Let's see. Perfect. So I have then the different projects. I have an unread email. It's not actually unread, but it like gets alerted for me. Um, and I don't have any of this designed in this mock-up thing. Um, we can go into website build, and I can say. I can comment on it and like the client then says like, sorry about that. I can add a file um, to it. I can just drag and drop the file into it and go ahead and save it. And now if I go back into here to my own portal, it has the, should have the file in there. I'm gonna refresh it. It's refreshed with Dubsado. Always, always. Yep, and then I have the document there that I could edit. Now you'll notice what did not happen with those comments is it did not notify me. Um, so that is a big bummer. If you're used to working in some of the actual project management tools that um, notify you as soon as someone comments on it or adds an attachment or there's a due date that goes past due, Dubsado does not do any of that. So for me, I think that this build out is really nice. If you're working on just like one client at a time, you can be in like the to do and the task um, as needed. But if you are handling multiple projects, multiple clients at a time, with moving parts um, that you're having to take care of. The way that the Obsado has their task board set up is just, it's not handy. You have to physically go in every time to see what needs to be done, what has activity on it, um, and your client does as well. So if you know something needs approval and you stick it into that bucket, they're not gonna know that unless they are also working out of their portal and seeing that. Whereas a Trello, an Asana, a ClickUp, a Notion, like any of these project management tools will alert your client via email, a Basecamp, like I would be doing a website build and Basecamp 100%. Um, but there's so many options out there. Um, so I hope that's helpful. So you don't get notified about like anything with tasks and then a to do with the workflow, you would get an email notification, but your client would not get notified. It's only you as the business owner. Um, but if you're just doing one project at a time, it's going to be handy um, to, you know, communicate well with your client, what you're working on, um, and then maybe to drop files and stuff in it. Um, and your client can do that as well.
Well, I hope that was so helpful for you. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I am putting videos out on Dubsado and systems and getting your small business organized. And I'd love to hear what else you want to learn about. If there's a topic that you're like, man, Lauren, would you please just show me how to do X, Y, Z, drop it in the comments. Let me know. I am so glad to be here and to be talking to y'all about systems. And I'm just so honored that you are listening to me. Um, and if you need more help, if you're just like, this is still like going right over my head, I don't know what to do. Um, I'd love to work with you to actually do some system setups in your business, be it inside a Dubsado or your CRM system, or even know where to start, I got a service for that too, where we just unpack your business. We look at all the ins and outs of it and we set um, next steps for you and maybe the tools that will work best for you, your brain, how your team works, because every business is different. And just because I use something does not mean it's what you should use or just because your cousin uses something does not mean it's what you should use. Um, and everybody wants to give suggestions and what they love, which is amazing, but what you love might be something totally different and I wanna help you get there and discover it because ultimately, I just want you to love the systems that you have in your business um, and that they work for you. So you can go ahead and use the link below to schedule a clarity call to see how I can help. And I'd love to do that um, with you. And if anything else, follow me on Instagram as well. I love giving tips and tricks that are easy. If you are a DIYer and just want to do it all yourself, totally okay. Keep watching these videos, join me on Instagram, and I will talk to you guys soon.